Okay. So let's check whether this is working. Is this working? Is this working? Nope. Okay. Wait, it is. Great. So perfect. What the fuck is that noise? Whether this is working. Is this working? Is this working? Nope. Okay. Wait, it is. Great. So. Perfect. What the fuck is that noise? Whether this is working. Okay, so the noise is apparently something is that has working? to do with the. Uh, with the. my microphone, of course. Of course, why the, we wouldn't. So, filters. Hmm. Anyways, uh, welcome to the live stream and today we'll be creating a mod. Okay, so this is like something new for me. I don't usually do, uh, how are these called, tutorials, I guess. But I will do one anyway, because uh, I've asked you all what you would like to see in my next uh, live stream and the vote was for creating a mod so here is my uh, desktop as you can see i have my mods my games uh, everything else and today we will be showing um, yeah how to make mods basically of course i don't have, have the time to show the entire process of creating a mod but I will give you like the basics so that uh, one day, if you will have the time or you will want to make a mod, you'll be able to make a mod for Age of History 2. While I can mod other games too, like OE4, uh, EU4, and March of the Eagles, and EU3, somewhere here, yeah. I do not really have the time to show like a complicated tutorial on how to do that, mostly because uh, creating a mod for a Paradox game is way way more difficult in some ways, not always, but if you want to make a overhaul mod like much of the mods I make for Age of History 2, that is a whole other deal and I can really show that right now. Now let me just check the chat and see how everything is going. Um, yes, okay, can I speak Italian? Yes, you can speak in Italian and uh, you'll tell me if the if the sound is bearable or if you want me to change microphone and if I will change microphone the quality will go down but the background noise will go away so you guys can tell me that anyways uh, let's check how to start making a mod I will advertise the uh, live stream on my server anyways now that, thanks, the ad was amazing. Anyways, I was talking about this recently. Give me a second. Okay. What kind people? Anyways, okay, let's get this started. Let's get the, the actual process started. So, uh, Janus A A2 asks, what city I live in? Well, I'm not really gonna say that, that's kind of personal. And yeah, so apparently the micro microphone isn't really a problem, so we'll just start. I don't really have anything else to do. Okay, so. I will be using the product, or more like the file, called Age of Modding. So this is, I won't be using this to actually create the mod, 
but I will to create the file for the mods so it will be e e um, like easier to work on instead of creating a completely new file for the creation of uh, like copying all the files I won't be doing that because that will be extremely uh, a waste of time so age of modding is a very useful um, kind of asset you can use if you go to the age of history to forum and you search up for the game and you go to mods you will be able to find when searching it this very useful um, thing the software that can help with modding while I do most of my mods without this uh, software it can be pretty useful for uh, beginners I guess so either I get this anyway I don't really have to show it it's, it's just here just so you know you can search, search it up and you will be finding Age of Modding but anyways we already have Age of Modding installed it's AOM v 0.90.00 I will be opening it up accessing release and going into the workspace actually let's just open the file itself so once we actually open it we'll have this really quick uh, message which will disappear and uh, well just needs a bit of time to boot message from the creator and here we go so basically uh, for those that don't know I released recently a new mod for Age of History 2 which is not Age of Imperialism but is a Balkan uh, focused mods because I figured out that the Balkans were a region that wasn't properly uh, represented in Age of History 2 so I made a modification overhaul mod that could uh, basically give it a bit of love and I used this software for HBIM not the modding itself not the map but the concept of it if we can say so anyways here is the how the uh, software looks when you open it up okay so the first thing we'll be wanting to do is add a new mod so for this uh, for the purposes of this live stream we'll be just be calling it like live stream mod or something and again and there we go so now we'll just have to wait a bit which of course it is a bit of, of uh, time to wait but once we actually finish the wait it will be very very easy to actually mod and I hope I can teach you all, uh, a bit like the basics of modding and also the more difficult stuff because even if it is a bit complicated for the mostly like the, the gameplay aspects to be changed the graphics and the map are actually pretty easy if you just know the drill and know that you can just use softwares to enhance your abilities and this is the first software we'll be using so age of modding but there's another really important software that you will have to use or you could use the normal one but this one I'm gonna have to suggest you all is way better in basically all ways and it's called uh, the map editor 2.0 and I'll be showing you all what it is in a while Meanwhile, let's put my PC into charge because apparently it's just already it's already running out of memory, and I'll be taking a look at the chat. So Buffalo White asks, so it's a basically a type of mod to create a, a type of app to create mods. It's kind of that, I guess you could say that. Will this be live? Be recorded? Yes, it will be recorded. Uh, wait, no, I don't think I'll actually be recording this live. So if you wanna know how to create a mod, you have to just to stick by, I guess. Yes, I am looking at the chat. Uh, Jan Eek asks, yes, I am currently looking at the chat. I was not before because I was concentrating on the explanation, basically. Yes, wait, will you show how to make the changing leader thing? Asks Saturn of Saturn. Uh, well, that's a great question, but I do not think that will be the case because changing leaders itself needs like a special code that is not available for normal modding you have to get it but done, uh, get it be done by someone else that knows coding or me at, the, at this point I even know how to do it myself on mobile 
but on PC I just use uh, recycled codes or something like that that use a leader change. Oh look, it's Praga, lol. Um, anyways, okay, I'll just be waiting for the actual mod creation to finish. It's currently at 62% in my time. I realized that the the live stream and the actual like what it shows is way different because for you you're like still at 60% and then 68%. For the people asking please don't delete this video, I don't have the recording space to uh, just keep it up. So I just I think you'll have to stick by if you want to uh, know how to mod or I don't know wait until I have space which is okay I don't mind but I mean it's here so just stick by you don't really have to uh, pay attention honestly it's just very it's way easier when you actually get to know how the full process works and by using all these softwares it will be way harder for when I started doing modding when we didn't have anything like this when I started doing modding, when I had uh, TSGW, the Second Great War mod, I did have no software, so no map editors, no age of moddings, no... Basically, I just used whatever I thought worked, big, uh, thanks to my knowledge of modding Paradox games, which wasn't a lot. And that's why there is like this huge quality change between TSGW and Age of Imperialism. Uh, okay, so the progress is at zero. Oh my god, why is it back at zero percent? Oh my god, this will actually take way more than expected. Hmm. Okay, because I suppose that creating a mod will take a while. Mod file, mod the base for the mod. Doesn't live streams automatically stay on YouTube? No, unfortunately, it don't don't stay on YouTube automatically. I'll have to reach a re how do you say re reload it or something. I don't remember actually. S I know that it's not automatically on YouTube because the live the live stream I had to reload, but I suppose it depends on the case and the type of mod I'm doing, on the type of sorry on the type of uh, live stream. Anyways, I'll just be waiting for the actual file to process. So, meanwhile, meanwhile we are processing this file and doing all this thing. Wait, we can't, oh my god, we can't even, okay, I'll just, maybe this, no, we can't, we really have to wait, unfortunate but true. So we'll just have to wait for, I don't know, four minutes, maybe less, but the actual charging is done. But I'm sure that when it's done, everything else will be way easier. I'm not joking, like very, very, very easier. So I'm pondering whether to... Okay, I'll have you uh, choose. So whoever is listening to this video, you can choose between the following options. Should I create a new map, so a new map from scratch, or just use the base game one? I'll let you choose and write it in the live chat. Okay. So currently most people want me to create a new map, which will take a bit more of time, but not that much. I don't know what what SRX is, John Hick. Anyways, let's check the server and what is happening there. Nothing really. Okay. It's, it's currently at 66%. Most people want new map, yeah. Yes. It's 
2147 in Italy, indeed it is. I don't know what John Eck is talking about when he says SRX. Okay, so we're currently at 82%, 83%. We're very close to actually uh, having this done. I hope that when it actually ends, we'll be able to make this. I think it's we're very close, honestly. When we will, we'll be able to mod. So we should already be preparing ourselves in the event this actually stops. But once the actual file is finished to loads, I think we can make a map on the file itself, right? Or should I make it separate and on another folder? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, the process is over. Oh my god, why is it... Oh my god, no. Why is it reloading again? What? Bro, what? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to do this and do so apparently it needs to load once more I don't know why this usually doesn't happen so I'm guessing there's something wrong but I don't know <laughs> I don't want to uh, load it again because if I do I risk interrupting what we have been loading the worst thing about this is because is that I can't I literally cannot touch anything until it ends the loading process, so I guess we'll be staying here for a while, unfortunately. Uh, so Waffle Boy asks, PSC, uh, can you use the software to share the mod with other people so they can mo also mod it? No, you cannot. Uh, this software doesn't allow. Uh, it's not online yet. It's just uh, offline. To share a mod, you will have to manually um, upload it either to drive or to uh, fire media 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 fire and then you can copy and link it to, to the first people you wanna you wanna oh it's done okay that took way less than expected and simultaneously way more finally this whole deal is done so now that we actually have our mods finally god man that was okay we can actually rename the version by want to be known just 1.0. So this can help for the actual mod creation. So now we have live stream mod 1.0. Okay. Now that this is done, okay, we can go to the next step. So we'll just be going and doing this and this and opening current mod uh, folder. As you can see, a fully new mod has been created, uh, and this is basically the base game for Age of History 2. We have a AOC3 jar, which is, I think, leader change, and a base AOC2x jar. So we get leader change version and normal version. You can open the game with both of these. Okay, so now that this is done, we can actually start changing the mod itself okay i'll let you uh, choose whether i should start by making a new map or i should start by changing the files of the game itself i'll let you ch uh, let you write it on the chat in the live chat Okay, since I'm not, okay, map changing the files, we have different options, different uh, opinions. Okay, apparently most people want me to change the files, so changing the files will be the first thing we will do. So let's open it again in the mod files and let's start. So as you can see, we have five, no wait, six folders actually five the GRE um, folder is nothing 
I mean, it's nothing for the game, it's just copyright shit and stuff we don't really care about. So for now, the only things that uh, are important are the five folders, UI, sounds, music, map, and game. I think we can, no wait, we can't rename it. Anyways, so now that we have our five major folders, we can start actually changing them. So opening the game file will allow us to change the files that have to do with the game. And these files can be placed, like you can take the game file if you edited it and put it in whatever other mod you make and that'll bring all the changes made to the game itself to the other mods. So let's start by something pretty easy. Let's start by making a flag change. Actually, let's start by something that is not too easy, but is something most people want me to change. So it's adding a civilization. I think this is something everyone wants to know when it comes to actually making a AOH2, which is actually adding civs. Okay, so this is not that easy. If you calculate easy as being fast, it's not fast, but it is the best way to create a civilization without it making problems and without it uh, bugging. So the first thing we'll have to do is check and get a flag for a civilization. So we'll just go to Google and search up a flag. We will be making the civilization of, uh, let me think, Paris. Paris, we'll be making Paris as a civilization. So, we'll be Paris flag, and we'll be getting the first flag we get. For The thing is, even if people know how to make a civilization with the civilization editor, people don't know how to make it so that the actual flag is changed and the uh, like color changes well it's it's complicated but it, the thing is you can change in the name and the flag and it, you can use this when bringing it to other mods if you change it in this way if you create the civilization in this way so we will be saving the flag of paris and then from this downloaded file we'll be having to redimension the flag to the standard values of the uh, AOH2 flags. The thing is you can do this or you can not do it, it's your choice, but if you don't recite them you will end up with a mod that has insane amounts of uh, space archive asked. So if you have, if you had like 100 new flags without resizing them you'll create a mod that is way too heavy and nobody will play it like AOI because it's just too heavy and people won't be able to download it or things like this. Anyways, let's start. The, the file you have to put it's 68 where 44. So 68 in uh, length per 44 in height. Width. We'll be saving it, uploading it to my flag file, flag uh, folder and here we got our flag so the next step is going back to this file in creating a new civilization how do you create a new civilization we have to go to the civilization file and take whatever civilization we want take it uh, when I say take it I mean right click it then copy it paste it and rename the civilization tag to whatever civilization name we want. So we can be whatever we want. It doesn't have to be at the actual name of the civilization. It has to be an acronym or uh, some letters that remind, it, remind us of it. So for Paris, we'll be uh, calling it Par. In this case, Par is being used by someone else. So we'll be naming it something else like Pi, pay. So now that we have our pay civilization, we'll be going down to the language folder, opening it up, going to the civilization folder in the language folder, then going to bundle properties. This depends on whether what language you're using. So if you're using another language, you have to check the acronym. So in this case, if I wanted to uh, put it in Italian, I guess I have to go to the it folder but we're not doing it in Italian, we're doing it in English. 
So we have pi. So now we, we, what we do is this. We go down here, we create a hash tag to make it not valid. We create a title for our civilization file. We can do it by using something like uh, new, wait, new civs. And we go pi equals Paris. And this means that in the game will not appear pi, but will appear Paris. Anyways, let's save, exit, and then go back to the flags. So we can see we have two flags files. This is because the flags file, the normal one, appears for the little flags that you see when you see the, like the, uh, when you see the armies running around and other little things for diplomacy. What you will have to do is copy and paste whatever flag, then open it, and you have to open it with something that edits images. So my, re my recommendation is PaintNet, which I will be using it for this video and basically all our videos. And then taking from our flag folder, the last flag we actually got, and pasting it in. So now we got our 68.44. Of course, the quality isn't as good as it would be if we didn't change it, but in this case, it will be good because it's smaller as a file. So as you can see, we have our pi flag. We'll have to rename it to the tag we chose earlier, so pi. As you can see, it changes the space in the folder. Then we'll have to copy it and paste it into the flags h file, which as you can see are more detailed and bigger. Now that we have pasted the flag, it's as big as these ones, and finally we can just see if the mod allows us to open it with this thing. So let's just go back, let's open the game, and this is just like a very easy transaction. We'll just be waiting for the game to load. Also, Mussolini64 asks, how do you create a new map? And I will respond to that with, we will be looking at that uh, later. For now, we'll just be focusing ourselves on this uh, civilization thing. But it's very uh, fast. You will we'll be doing the map thing in really little. So the game is almost loaded, it's half loaded. <laughs> Buffalo White is right, I have nothing to do with this individual, but I have to say its name because it wouldn't recognize me if I didn't. Anyways, the loading is almost done, fortunately. I don't know why this always takes so long when it's first opened, but when we will open the game again, it will be way faster. For now, it will be a bit of time. So 95, 96, 97%, 98, and there we go, 99. Okay, now we'll be checking if the what we did with Paris worked. And there is one last step to actual making this into the actual file. We'll have to look at it in a while. Okay, so let's go to editor, let's go to game editor, let's go to game civilizations and search up Paris. And here we go, we have Pi Paris we have to rename the t the, uh, the 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 file to pay pi whatever then save it when we save it a thing from google will open up i do not know why it's something that lucas put in wikipedia then we go to create scenario modern world 
just to check I'm not actually gonna change this but here we go we can just change the capital of France go to Paris search up Paris here and there we have it we have our little Paris city-state so this is how you add civilizations profiles and there ends our tutorial on civilization now as we have changed some files we can actually go and change something else so what we can change now can we change uh, let me think we could try changing hmm. okay we can change ages okay so ages are the thing that you can see in the game when uh, the year changes and the age change but uh, you actually have way more importance than we actually think in fact all ages have determining factors that play when we actually go into them so in this case I'll be uh, here like showing you how to change a simple uh, age file as we can see I opened the ages gson file which will have to be opened as a text file and I'll see if we can find something that is like 1861 1836 okay okay this is perfect we'll be changing the age of revolution into the age of uh, pre-industrial industrialization and then we will change the effects of this age so let's see what I can do we can change the disease to having way more disease so something like 1 so from 0.0, .0 it goes from 1.0 1 1.5 100 when we can go to the base income production from this we can make it less because of course the the farther you go back the worse it gets we can go to taxation and make also this a change file let's say the farther back you go the, le the less uh, authoritarian well that's not true uh, I mean I'll just put a random one like this Population growth, I can change this into like from four into seven, maybe because people were making more children back in the day. Colonization costs movement points. Oh, wait, colonization costs, I will add this a lot, so let me give three. And games, okay, this is one important one game days per turn. This is one of the things that a lot of people tend to ignore, but when you actually um, go, the more you go, into the modern world in AOH2 uh, the more you actually become slower in the time in the time, passing of time so we can go from 34 we'll actually go for 44 and there we go we have changed the age file let's go back let's go to the age of age of, let's just open game meanwhile I will be uh, reading the comments Yes, Buffalo White is right. You can just you you don't need to create a new mod to you don't need to create a new mod for anything. I'm just creating a new mod to show you how you can mod without hurting the base game. As for yes, yes, Mussolini sixty four asks, is there a way to make civil war more possible, higher cost, look or blah, 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 blah. Yes, it is. You have to change the revolution file we saw earlier. If you don't remember, uh a bit earlier we saw the the file the like the names of the things in the the file the ages file and one of those values was like revolution if you make the value higher rebels and revolutions will be way uh, more common anyways I'll be changing this file from 1836 to 1844 October November so now this thing will be right on the points where we change the era. So if I'm not wrong, 
yes, you can see age of pre-industrialization. So since we're in the age of pre-industrialization, the, yes, actually it should have changed, uh, okay, I'll choose um, a nation that actually has colonies because I wanted to show you the colonial value. So like the United Kingdom, you can go and see that now the colonies cost is way higher. You need 155,000 to just get one colony. And we get more taxation than we should. Less goods though, and stuff like this. And also the days per turn are changed. So we just wait a day and we're already on the 15th of, of December. So here we go, now you know how to change the ages. Okay, so people are asking civil wars. I thought you guys uh, understood what I meant before. So I'll just have to go back to the ages file. Uh, we go here and you can see that on the, this value, revolutionary risk modifier is like this. If we put this, so if we put this um, this value way up, of course revolutions will happen way more. So if you put this to like three, I guess. I don't even. I think it might crash because three is a bit too much, but I will try. So if we put the revolutionary risk modifier at three. Now we go back to the game. We open the game. Yes, I can show you how to fix uh, uh, nation ideology flags. It's yes, yes, I can do it. It will be the next thing after this one. And then after this will be uh, maps. So let's do the thing. Let's do the editing. Victorian era. Go up. What have to change? Let's change the happiness of some country. So we'll be changing the happiness of the Ottoman Empire to like 12. And then let's see what happens when I actually play the Ottoman Empire. We actually want to change the date as well. To be sure. And have enough time. Okay, so as you can see, we have 12% happiness. So that's way less than we should. Okay, so now we are the Ottoman Empire. I don't know how much it will take for us to have a revolution. The modifier has been changed, but it might still take a while. Let's see. Because they should be less rare, but I think we still need to be at war like the regular ones. Okay, so already re uh, normal uh, civilization rebels are happening. I will not even fight them, I don't care. But the, even but the thing is, even if we do, they don't have any cores, they will spawn because of this revolutionary risk modifier. So if you just stay here and look at the countries, we will notice that some countries will eventually blow up just because we changed Yes, as you can see, a lot of rebellions, even if nothing has course yet. And if we wait enough time, I don't know how much time, but if we wait enough, we will see that eventually... Uh, look, we have another Serbia, so now we have two Serbias. Interesting. Anyways, if we wait enough time, we'll have uh, an actual civil war. But again, it depends on many factors. Normally, civil wars are more... Yes, there you go. And there goes the civil war. So at only 48 turns, you already have a civil war, democratic Turkey against the Ottoman Empire. So I think this clears up how to sh make revolutions more hot, more uh, common. Anyways, let's do the next thing that you guys asked. So the flags. How to change the flag of a countries in like. Uh, Okay, let's put as an example Brazil. So we have Brazil, 
we go to the flags H file and we see Brazil frag by bra PNG bra. But then we see after bra PNG we have bra CPNG, bra FPNG, bra MPNG, and actually it's actually basically intuitive because you can see bra C stands C stands for communism, F stands for fascism, M stands for monarchism. Okay, I'll go search Turkey, I guess. Search Turkey, it's Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. Turkey's tag is, of course, Tur, because Turks. Yes, you can see Tur PNG, Tur CPNG, Tur FPNG, Tur MPNG, Tur R. R stands for Republic. So if you go to this Tur CPNG, you can do like this, paint nets, and I don't know, let's check what's flag, Turkish communist flag, something like this. I'll just use this one, flag of this, uh, the communist party. And there we go. So we can see the, ch the flag of Turkey has been changed and now we'll just have to copy it, go back to the flags file and paste it. So substitute the precedent flag file and we'll have the tar C flag. So now we'll have to open the game once more. And if everything works, The game is currently loading. Yes. Okay, since now the game loaded, we'll just be going on to the modern day Turkey to prove that this worked. And as we go to the modern day Turkey, we can just go like this. Wait a couple turns for the money to build up. And as we change our government, wait, we need more and more turn. And as we change our governments, we immediately become with the right flag. So we, as you can see, we have the right flag of the Communist Party of Turkey right now. We still have uh, Erdogan in power though. This can change unless we change the file we start the game with. Anyways, we still have the city state of France, of I mean of Paris, and I think we're done with that. Okay, so now we changed the how we explained how to add a civilization, we explained how to change ages, we explained how to add flags, we explained how to change flags depending on the ideology of civilizations. So now comes the part you've been mostly waiting for: uh, how to actually make a map for Age of History 2, a new map, a completely new map that has nothing to do with the old ones. Okay, so sorry for the second you guys waited. I was like currently informing everyone else that I was going to start doing this. And yeah, okay, so what we have to do, let's close up this folder. Let's close, I mean, let's just go like this and go back to Age of Modding. Then let's go back again and exit the main thing of Age of Modding go back and go to workspace. Now workspace has four options. We don't have to touch either temp or core or exports. We just have to touch maps and mods. So the first thing we will do is mods. Here 
we can just see what we have. Currently I have my Battle Balkan Royale map that I made recently and the livestream mod and the Glory of Glory of Old which you guys don't know yet of but it's another thing I'm working on. Anyways, we go back to the modding file, modding Age of Modding, we go to maps, we create a new map and we enter the name of the new map so we get, I don't know, I guess Wait, 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 cancel, cancel. Okay, just need to be sure. Okay, now that we can create the new map, I'll just name it Livestream Map. Lib, Lib, Libes, yes, Libes. Libes. Then we have to take the map, the I mean, we have to actually have a map, so we just have to like search map of something, and hopefully they give us black. Wait, that's ter fit. Okay, okay. Terrain. As you can see, now we have multiple options of maps to make. Do you guys have any like suggestions on what map I should take? Just gonna wait for a second. The Hoi 4 map. Well, let's see if I can actually find it. I don't know. Ugh. The terrain map of Hoi 4. I don't think I can actually find that. The terrain map of Hoi 4 is just uh, like. if I can find this honestly yes but I don't want the background to be the state map that's the thing I want it to be the normal okay never mind let's just go with the state map who cares so let's just get the state map download it Okay. Hmm. Okay, now we have the state map of the thing and we just have to click on set background. Now this will open us our little thing we talked about earlier. Let's open this. And now we have our background for the mod. So we open background and we can see the new background of the new mod is nothing, I guess, because it didn't fucking work okay that's great so apparently the hoi 4 map just didn't work i don't know why that is the case i guess it's too big great now that's that's just something amazing this literally never happened to me i don't know why i don't know how how it was so big that it didn't even uh load great okay so does anyone have any else any other suggestions japan I don't know anything about Japan. I can't. I can make a map about something I do not know anything of. I could try making the Hoi Three one, but it looks disgusting. I can try with this one. Let's see if it works. Okay, it actually worked. You guys are lucky. Okay, so now that we have our background map, we can actually start working on it. 
So how this works is we have our map, we have our background. Now we go back to the workspace. We go back to live stream mods. Wait, no, never mind. We go back to maps. And now we have Libus. And you can see we have these things. Now, what we need to do now is basically Okay, I think it's already uh, like perfect. We can just have to. Yes, okay, never mind. Wait. We need to call it something specific, am I right? I think there was like a specific name that we had to use. If I'm not wrong. Yes, BG, which is hilarious, but it's true. We actually have to call the map BG. If it's not BG, it won't work. So now that the map is actually BG, we can actually open it up and it should work. Okay, so now the state map of Hoi 4 is right above our heads. So we can actually start working on it. If we go in it, we can see we actually can see like the little little provinces, but I won't actually be making the little provinces because that will take a lot of time. So what, what we have now is the map, and what we have now is this little red dot. Now, to make a map, we have to start by clicking the red dot on whatever. We can choose a border or something that doesn't exist yet as a border. I'm not gonna follow these black lines because they make me angry. So I'll be doing something like this. And as more the black dot is created, the more you can see you can add little dots just by connecting them. We'll be doing something like this. When we want to delete a dot, we'll have to press the delete button on our keyboard. And when we want for the province to be over, we will just have to click the enter button. So we click the enter button and you can see we have a new province here. A new province for our map. But the catch is it's a file. It doesn't even it doesn't automatically transport into our map, but it appears as a number on a screen. So it's just zero. So our map now tells us that this province we were talking about earlier is zero. So what we do is continue creating maps. So we could, I don't know, I guess create uh, Tyrol. I actually split this up because it makes me angry that these guys uh, group together both Tyrol and Trentino. What I just did there was uh, use the Y key, so the Y, the letter Y on your keyboard serves as a means to speed up this process by automatically like connecting your dots. To use this key, you will have to click the two dots of a province you want to make. Let's say something like this and then you will have to click at least two dots on the... wait, I'll do it right here. You have to click two dots on this one, and then you can use us Y. And there you go. So I hope this clears up a lot of things. Buffalo White asks that if, if it gets easier, and the answer is, if you want to have a decent map that is working right, it does not get easier. This is the easiest way to make a map if you want it to work right and to look normal. If you want to make a fast map with awful graphics and probably uh, bad, just pretty awful everything, you can do it without this method, with the Age of Modding tool for creation of maps through lines. And I will show it later, but I will let you guys judge whether it's worthy of an actual, uh, <laughs> I don't know, use, or if it's it better just to do it manually. 
and I guess it's easier for people that do not want to spend time making maps on your computer but again it's pretty damn bad so it's like a choice you either want a good map or a bad fast map I, I guess it's your turn choice so once we make enough provinces I'll actually show you how to implement them in the game so for now we made six pro wait no seven provinces no yeah six uh, seven provinces keep making a bit more maybe in uh, Switzerland I'm doing this fast if I wanted to I would make it more accurate to the actual borders of Foy 4 but for now I'll just be doing fast because I don't really want to waste time making this uh, small map Okay, so now we made something like 10 provinces, I didn't really count, and that's all I want to do for now. Yes, okay, 12 provinces. Now, we exit the map editor, we copy all the provinces we made, so select them all and copy the provinces. We go back here, back to uh, mods, we go to live stream mods, and then we have to go to map. After we went to map, we'll have to go to template. This template thing, we'll have to copy it and paste it. Rename this to the map name you want. So like it's Libes, I guess, again. And uh, in this file, you'll have to add by copying this little line here that you actually want a new map to be created. So this will become Libes. And this is just a name for the example of it. Okay. So now that we have this Libes file, we'll have to remove all data from it. So these two provinces get to have be eliminated and luckily there is no nothing in update and update pb and let's get back to the uh yeah to the map file we were talking about earlier let's copy the files again go back to mods go back to live stream mods go back to Libes now and paste these in the folders update pb paste it in update paste it in provinces then count them so in this case it's 12 open the config json file and change the file here telling me number of provinces also change the background name to something you want so or i'll be choosing or for my background name save it let's see our backgrounds as you can see we are missing the background needed for the map to work so we'll have to use a new website this time it's called I don't have it, okay. Uh, image cutter in equal parts. Go up here, choose the file. This guy I used, it's the new Taliban leader. I used it for the AOI modern day scenario. I don't remember where I put it, here, okay. Okay, 
now that I put the file will be just going with without changes on this output image format click OK and wait after we wait it will be taking a while we have two open image files this one and the other one you can do download zip archive with the all parts go back to this file wait let's check downloads and copy paste the images we got on the thing since we chose ori we'll be going or ori was it, was it ori or or i forgot anyways it has to be this one has to be left ori and this one has to be ori right so like this also let's capitalize the l Let's go back. I want to just check whether what of the two I named the background file or okay, I'll just have to change this to Ori. And hopefully now that we open the mods, we'll be able to see our new map, which could happen or could not happen. This is the bad thing about modding Age of Civilization. This game is not some game that you can just mod and be sure that it will work. Uh, unfortunately, many times things will crash and delete everything you have done to create the mod, but it's just one of the risks you gotta take. And it can happen one day after making the mod, or it can happen while you're making the mod, crashing your entire thing and ruining it for everyone. Okay. Okay, now let's go to the map Earth and go to map name 2, this one, and see if it's loaded. Let's load it twice just to be sure. And we have to edit it. We have to go to map editor and edit connections and borders. And th indeed, we need this last passage for it to work. So in this case, it's an awful decision because we made a map without, which is white. And so we can't see the lines between the map. I'll just have to go for memory. What I'm doing now is uh, something that you will have to do by clicking a, provinces, a province with your left uh, mouse click, then backspacing on it and clicking clicking another province and clicking enter on the other provinces also we have to add, update province data anyways let's keep clicking these provinces I think we're done. I don't think we have to update any more provinces. Let's save, go back, go back, create a scenario. And there we have it. So you can see we now made a new map which can host multiple provinces. And we have our new map we can play on. Of course, we can edit by adding more provinces through time, but this is the basics basically. So we can just call this like we can make this scenario happen in 1914. Okay, 
And there we have it. So we have our new map with our new scenario, with our new connections and borders. I basically explained what, everything you need to know to make a map and to make it work. As you can see, it's not a fast process. So I'll actually show you what a fast process is because there is a way to make maps super fast without any problems or complications, but they're ugly and they don't work right. But I will still make you uh, see how it's done. So to do this thing, we have to go directly onto paint.net, open it, then I guess choose one of the maps we were using earlier. You can do it with anything, but I will choose something easy simply because I want to make myself uh, an easy way to do this. I don't think I have it here. Saved images. No, never mind. Map it. Yeah, why not? Let's choose this one. Okay, let's say we want to make. You know what? I don't like this one. We'll have to choose something else. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Also, there are quite the amount of swastikas in the in this. Oh, look, a map of Brazil. Epic. I can use this one. Great. Okay, so you see this map of Brazil. You see this? Well, you can make this into a map in a fast and easy way by doing like this and clicking. Wait, no, not that much. Everything that is not Brazil into a black hole, basically. Then going in the brush and making sure that you eliminate everything that is not the uh, Brazilian provinces. I'll I even make something like this. I just put it like. I'll do it fast so some parts of Brazil might be destroyed. Plus, I'll uh, keep Uruguay because of cheese platina. I know it's ugly, it, the purpose is not to be pretty. So, spare me the crying, basically. Ignore how ugly it is, honestly. Okay, so now we have our little map here of uh, Brazil. And we can just do it like this. Let's save the map of Brazil. Into a PNG file. It's done. Now, if we go to the modding thing, we can see on the maps, I can choose uh, add new map, call it Brazil, success, set background, just use the background I showed you all, set line map, we'll have to uh, use this once more, and now we have to generate color map from line map which can take from nothing to hours. It depends. It varies a lot. In this case, it will take a lot of time. So a lot of wasted time, I guess. Because unfortunately, it's not an easy method and it breaks a lot. So I guess this will take a, at least four minutes, maybe more, I don't know. I'm a What's the so Knight Emperor asks what's the main music in Age of Imperialism? Uh, so the answer is basically I took it from a game that nobody plays. It's called Colonial Conquest. If you search up Colonial Conquest on internet or on YouTube, you will hear the music when it opens up. But it's not really something people know about. So you can see the color map from the line map has been thing done. So now we go and put deploy to current version. No wait, I fucked up. We have to put generate provinces from color map. So now that we generated the color map, we need to generate the provinces from said color map. 
and depending on if this works or not it really does yeah it takes a while too because of course it does then it's Sahin Akaya uh, says hi hi to you too I'll end the, the live stream in a while because it's been already over one hour and ten minutes and the live, last live stream was about one hour and fifty minutes I'm just currently waiting for the operation to finish but uh, as I said this can take a long 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 time I tried making a map of the world using this method with big provinces, so bigger than normal AOH2. And not only it didn't work, but when it did work, it became extremely ugly and was almost unwatchable because the province borders were extremely smooth and ruins in many ways. Currently waiting for the. Oh my god, it's not even going. Is it even work? Okay, 45%. I mean, at least that. Okay, success. So now we have we can deploy map to current version. This should take very little time. We just need to load the map now. Let's load the map. So Brazil, scale 3, then exit, press OK. Success. So now if we open the map in the current folder and open the Brazil map, it could crash or not crash. I don't know. Let's see if it crashes or it doesn't. It fully depends on case. Most of the times I use this tool to create maps bigger than like four provinces, it has crashed. But maybe we're lucky today, I don't know, might might be lucky. Still stuck at 45%, so I think we might not be lucky. But it could be just because it's uh, loading the thing, I don't even remember how it's called. So this is how to make, if this works. It's how to make fast maps without actually doing the provinces yourself. But again, you will see it's bad, really bad. But it depends if it works or not. And since we're stuck at 45%, I'm going to guess that the answer is no, hard no. Well. We tried, that's for sure, but when it's again, if you really want to make a map, I just suggest you do it the old way, because this way ain't working at all, unfortunately. It's just not even responding at all. I think it'll just crash. I guess if we do like change some values, I think it could be easier for them to actually realize. Look, it created 59 provinces out of nothing. Unfortunately, it didn't load any of them because it was just too much to take at the same time. It's kind of sad, honestly. Let's see how much they loaded 59. And the scales tell me that the provinces they loaded, look at that, it only loaded 12 and then crashed. Yep, full crash. Yes, this is what happens when you try using the mod tool to make more provinces, basically. What I will try doing now is making, them, making it easier for them by making like the number of provinces be 30 Maybe it will work this way, I'm not sure. But we can try. So if we be if we behead half of the provinces, maybe now it will load. I think it just has some major problems, honestly. It's just not loading at all. 
But anyways, this is how technically making fast maps work in this game. As you can see, it doesn't. The fast answer is that. Don't take the fast route, because even if you try and make a beautiful line map, it will just break and nothing will work. Brazil map is here, so the problem is not backgrounds. The problem is trying to load the provinces itself. Okay. So with that, I think I will end the stream with this little failure. So now you know how to make a map, how to edit flags, how to create civilizations, how to edit the ages, how to make the map more rebellious, uh, how to make civilization uh, ideologies more common, shit like that. And you know how to implement a map and create new province uh, connections and more, I do not remember. Unfortunately, I was not able to show you this mess because this this is just not working Unfortunately, I knew it would not work because it doesn't work most of the times, but sometimes it does Some rare really rare times it does. So with that I will close this video and uh, Tell you goodbye basically. I hope you will enjoy this video if I manage to upload it normally on the thing for whoever is watching and for all of you that stick by for you all the uh, live stream, thank you, and we'll see each other in the next video or live stream. Goodbye.